An Outer County neighborhood befriended a deer and has the video to prove it, but now that's all they have to remember. News 8's Caitlin Smith shows us what happened. It's not unusual to see deer in Bob McGonnell's York Springs backyard, but it is when it's this close. And here was this little buck stand. He had about three inch horns like this. What's going on, buddy? Shirley Stremmel gave us this video she captured of the young deer. She nicknamed it Bucky. He was like a puppy. The Game Commission believes the deer is tame and likely lived in captivity. It says, though, that could increase its chances of having chronic wasting disease. York Springs was the first place in the state to test positive for that disease. It says the only way to test the deer is to kill it. And that's what it did. I think it's terrible. I was, a, I was a deputy game warden for 20 years. It wasn't necessary. That deer was all right. Another concern because the deer wasn't afraid of people, the Game Commission says it's probably not afraid of traffic either. Bob says it did frequently cross this road. People have to come first. Yes, yeah, sure. that's. I guess they have to do what they want to do, but sometimes they're a little bit too forceful, I think. The results of the chronic wasting disease test won't come back for a few more weeks. In Adams County, Caitlin Smith, News 8. Sounds like a difficult situation. Difficult indeed, sad, but yeah, raises I mean, some questions. Hmm. All right, well, coming up next.